एन एम एम द यूनिट वैल्यूज विच वी हैव डिराइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइंटी फाइव एंड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन सेवन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दीज वैल्यूज आर नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट आर द टाइम वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू बाई दिस स्टील इट विल नॉट बी सेम इट विल बी मोर और इट विल बी द लेस हाउ मच इज द मोर एंड हाउ मच इज द लेस दिस इज नोन एज द टॉलरेंस सो द स्टैंडर्ड सेज वेन योर डाया इज एट एम एम और लेस टॉलरेंस इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस सिक्स एम एम परसेंटेज फर स्टील ऑफ डाया ग्रेटर देन एट एम एम टॉलरेंस प्लस माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट नो आई विल गिव यू इट्स कैलकुलेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल I am taking एट एम एम दिस एट एम एम से योर वैल्यू फॉर यूनिट लेंथ इज थ्री नाइंटी फाइव प्लस माइनस सिक्स परसेंट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ दिस हाउ वेल आई कैलकुलेट दिस इट वुड बी इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स तो सो वाइट इज वैल्यू कम पॉइंट थ्री नाइंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट जीरो टू थर्टी सेवन एंड वट एवर दिस वैल्यू कैलकुलेटेड हाउ it become the part of this very important question now let me write down it would be equal to 0.395 plus minus 0.0237 when this value get addition with this one its value comes out to be 0.419. When this value is being subtracted from this one, then this value comes 0.371. So this is the range. Whenever you are going to purchase the steel, its if you are going to take one meter. its value would be between this range up to this range so that is why i have told you this variation need to be understand very well which is known as the tolerance now for the 10 mm the standard weight calculated 0.617 plus minus 4.5% Here, if I will do the same calculation, plus minus zero point zero two seventy seven, because when six one seven is being multiplied by this value, we are going to get this value. After applying plus and negative factor, its value comes out to be zero point six forty five, zero point. 589 so this is the range it means when you are going to purchase the 10 mm steel the mass per unit length will be within this range this range we have calculated after applying the tolerance limit which our standard bs 449 has 
assigned to us. If your limit is exceeding less than this one or more than this one, then don't take the material. It means some characteristics are changed. Try to understand. Suppose you are going to purchase the steel of dia 10 mm and its mass is coming like 480. As an example, suppose its mass is coming 0 0.490 or 0 0.480, it is less. So, so no purchase. Similarly, if its value is coming 0.71 or it is 0 0.72, don't consider that it is the stronger. No. It means again the chemical composition is changed. So, so it is not that material which is our requirement. So, so keep this thing in mind. That is why the standard has defined the limit. If it is within the limit, take it. If it is exceeding the limit in either side, don't take it. It means there is some fault in the material. Thank you very much for understanding. Next, as an engineer, you please practice yourself for the other grades like 20, like 32, like 40 ETC and 4.5%. Okay, thank you for seeing this.